So remember when the marking mission was an actual series that I did again? Well, I'm bringing it back, sort of. And I mean sort of because I haven't recorded an episode since the 21st of April. Yet I still have about 7 episodes worth of footage of 4 tanks. The reason for that is that uh, the recording for some episodes is more than 3 hours long. And to make that into a video will probably be about half an hour. And I want to break that up into two videos. So for, I'm going to just spoil the tanks. The T10, you will have a double header. Uh, the 268 version 4, you'll have a double header. And the Object 430U, you'll have a double header. And then with this episode for the T3485M, that will be seven episodes. So you've got about seven weeks worth of the Mark Mission videos coming your way not every week probably but there will be marking mission videos again of me just being angry but at the same time having really good games sometimes now i did say i would this was last recorded in uh wow okay now when was this last record like probably before april and i don't know why the footage is so incredibly laggy like, i just have no no idea, so you're just going to have to deal with it, because I'm not going to try and re-record this, because it is physically impossible for me to re-record this footage. So, you may have noticed as well that I sound a bit stuffed, like my nose is full of goop. That's because I'm currently on the ass end of the man flu. I've had the man flu for the past two... no. Last week. It, like, it really flared up last Sunday, and it just, like, literally just stuffed its boot in my mouth and I was just there like <laughs> I'm dying but I'm feeling better now everything is pain and everything is snot and goop and poop but like I said I'm on the ass end of it so I'm getting better slowly I have a thick meaty vagina so while editing this, I usually cut out the boring parts of me driving into battle or like in between where I'm driving between fights. Well, this is 10 times normal speed and it will be a full 4 minutes before I finally see an enemy. This game, nothing happened for the beginning. But I finally find someone and it's a dead tank. But after finding the dead tank, I find the enemy. Finally! Finally some action can happen and I start with taking damage and missing shots, but eventually I do actually hit the Matilda Black Prince. What a tank to shoot. But the IKV is on the hill. They've just they've just gone through the, the glacier road, which is not really a glacier road anymore, is it? It's just kind of a rubble road. Gravel road. Mountainous gravel road. There's no ice there anymore in the uh, the new maps, although new. They've been here for so long. Like, the HD maps. Yeah, it's not new anymore. They're still old maps. It's just looking a bit better. Looking a bit prettier. The Cromwell who sat on top of the hill got bored and went down and shot me with premium. And then the IKV shot me with premium. But for some reason, the D3485M has some sort of armor and they bounced. However, it doesn't mean that this Cromwell will stay alive for longer. Because he lost his, well, his good position to me. Being surrounded from three sides currently behind me on the hill behind me on the bridge and in the valley water dippy bits there's tanks left right and center and it was only a matter of time before i died it's amazing i'm the reason everybody fight you're not black you're like white or asian you know what medium tanks are all about it's about literally fighting heavy tanks 1v1 that are one tier higher, face to face, losing a shit ton of health because he rolls high, and then you just kind of shoot him a couple of times at premium, and then pull back. And if you really think that's what medium tanks are about, then you're doing it wrong, just like I did. I literally just start this game with losing half of my health to an IS, because 390 alpha, and I was just like, yeah, they won't be here yet already, and then the IS is just like, ah, by the way, I'm fast. So that's a good start, I think. No, it really isn't, but, you know. What you gonna do? What you gonna do is get surrounded by enemy Soviet tanks because you're all alone here on this corner with another heavy tank, and that's pretty much it. So pretty much, I am going to die. But at least I did some damage, and I got some spotting. 
But only at this point does my team come and help me. Well, not me, because I've died. They're, they're helping the IS. They were just literally waiting for me to die, and then they were like, Yeah! Yeah, this is our time! Yes! Let's go! I cannot even remember if we went on to win this game. Or lose. <laughs> it was neither. In the night, I hear him talk the cold story ever told. Somewhere far along this road, he lost his soul. Will you be my new daddy? For some reason, now, about God, what month is April? January, February, March, April. Five months later, I only now realize that it actually took me about an hour to get this mark. In comparison to Heavy Tank number six, that took me about 13 minutes. 13? 30. 3 0. This was a long try for 5% extra. Like, I'm surprised with how shit I was playing. I'm not even kidding. That begs the question, is it more difficult sometimes to get a mark on like a lower tier tank at tier 5 or 6 or 7 than it is to tier 10? Because in the tier 10, you're never bottom tier. Whereas if you're playing, you know, the T3485M, you're up against, I don't know, like defenders and shit. What the shit are you going to do? You're just going to be like, ha! So, how big is the gaping hole that it was once my butt going to be today? But if you're top tier in a game like this, for example, I... You have to have that impact. Otherwise, one, you lose. Two, you won't go up in your mark. And currently, I've won my flank. I've done enough damage to go up in my mark. But I want to do more. And you, where there is more to do is... The, well, the peninsula or penis. Or whatever you want to call that. I would try to track the Chaffee and I just failed miserably. And I've, I've let my teammate die and I've been taking damage. And I'm going to have to drive down and get it to cover. In half a minute... The entire peninsula got destroyed, except for one M5 steward, and that's it. I don't even know what happened, so I think this was even the last bit of damage I do in this game. Unless... Unless I hit the M... Uh, no. No, I sure don't. Do I get a second chance? I do, because everyone missed as well. Do I even get the kill? Hell yeah! But it gets better because the Amex 12T was reloading, which means that I get the kill on the SU-5, which means... Did I get a Pascucci's for this game as well? This game, I had that impact. Now I can't wait to play against Defenders next game. Haha. <laughs>No, no, no, you gotta tickle their balls a little bit. So I have a very important question for you. I've been watching back a, a load of old videos, which is the reason why I am making this video, because I got interested. I wanted to make a video again. I've never noticed this. Well, I mean, I probably have noticed, but kind of just pushed it away because I'm a very negative person by nature. That I got a lot of comments saying like that they love the intro and stuff like that, and they love the... Um, just what like the type of videos that the Marker Mission brought, like the thing that people really liked, and I watched back some uh, stream highlights as well, and I just I just looked and I just had so much fun making the streams. So I was thinking, would you guys be interested in a stream where I work on say a cinematic video for the next big patch, which would probably be the wheel vehicles for the French nation. Next patch will bring a couple of HD maps and the new map, not Sacred Valley, it's... I don't even know what it's called! Empire's Border, that's the one. So it, it's just a pretty mappy patch. It's not big, it's not fantastic, it's not... Yes! It also brings bots, which we've had enough of for gaming. I mean, what? Oh, and that f if if you guys would want, then you probably get to pick the music as well, like a group effort in the chat. If you're interested in this, I guess. I mean, that that is fun for me as well because usually I, when I edit videos, I'm just kind of here alone in my room behind my computer for multiple hours on end, and it could be fun if you guys could be there as well to watch me struggle. My manager came up with the brilliant idea to make a poll. So you guys don't have to like spam, spam, spam the uh, comment section. So there's a poll in the description, if I remember to add it. And I'll probably put the same poll on Twitter as well, if that's what you fancy. If you don't fancy it, then uh, oh, it sucks, man. Too bad.
Could you speak up? I'm not wearing pants. The good news is we are finally getting close to that mark. Only 1.5% left to go for just the first mark and i think the tier six is a good way to get back into the series for a bit because from this point on it's just going to be tier nine and tier ten i think unless i find some footage as well somewhere else but also you know how i've been uploading a lot of mark commission videos that's because i had a lot of things that i could mark and that that amount uh, is a bit lower now like i remember that i can get the second mark on the type 64 and maybe the third mark on the crumble berlin but that's about it i've run out of tanks that i can get marks on quickly so to say i mean probably the i7 i can get the second mark on but that's pretty much it so after these seven episodes i'm not sure what will happen i'm not sure if i by that point have continued uh, getting marks on tanks or if this series will kind of take a break again and yes this is the fastest way to throw away your tank in a game that you're gonna have to put effort in so in short shit be whack yo normally in these kind of videos as well i would put you know those butts over the screen with how much i need to have to get a mark or go up my percent for mark and stuff like that but i mean it's tier six it's the first mark no one really is that concerned if i get it or not no no no. it will get interesting again when i go and try for the third mark for the t10 because yes i have actually tried to get it that's why it will be a two-part episode if i get it i mean i've failed many times before and trust me i will fail again like <laughs> that is something i do that's my uh my hobby failing at stuff in life a lot like a whole lot you know what else is there a whole lot of corner fighting me against three or four tanks that's it's gonna be a lot of that right now because look where my team is they're on the one two line which is a valid place to be in a game like this or they're all still sitting in base with their asses out of their pants What's the KV-2 doing over there? What's the Matilda doing? The SU-100Y has no shots to anyone ever from that position. The T-40 is finally moving up. The Panzer Souffle 4B is, is an artillery, so that's fair. But what's that behind him? Is that an... What is that? Is that a Skoda T-24? Is he sitting behind the Panzer Souffle 4B? This is the quality that you go for in low-tier games. So I've had enough of that corner fighting and I spot myself a Matilda and I have very high alpha because I'm a tier 6 versus a tier 4. So the Matilda dies, so the Hetzer dies, our T28 dies and finally the enemy has found their way up onto my part of the map because I had given up trying to corner fight against four, actually five tanks. I was one versus five holding them back and because I've left... Now they finally decided to move up because there's no help from the teammates. The T-40 dies and I kill the E-2 because he thought that I left. Oh, he was wrong. And because he was the main man on this corner, actually I bounced off the M4. Sweet. I am very low health right now and I actually don't want to die right now because that is bad. And so I start doing what Soviet tanks were not really designed for in this game and that's sniping. I keep an eye on the minimap, of course, as the, like as soon as I see someone pop up next to the Sav, I will turn around and help him. But look at that! They are starting to run away and help the middle because, well, our team is pretty much winning every flank. Now, we haven't won the flank I'm in, and actually, we have lost the 1-2 line. What is happening in this game? Can't we just win? So I decided to just risk it risk it for the biscuit because i somehow i'm going to have to win this game kill the m4 after he fires on the move and misses the shot and i think can this guy pen me i mean he did earlier on with apcr so i'm very hesitant very hesitant so instead i turn around again and i see if i can have shots some other places and i think ah drive down they will never expect this Except for the Lago, who didn't expect this because he died. Not expecting it. It's like the Spanish. So after a whole lot of hullabaloo and nothing happens to you, 
I have found my way into the enemy base, and thinking about it, I could have poked up and shot the uh, S-35, but I voted against it, because there are still two artillery. And guess what? I'm not really keen on trying to shoot artillery, so instead I'm just going to sit and cap behind this rock where artillery can't hit me, and hopefully, actually, he can't see me. Happy days. I wasn't waiting for Artie to hit him. I wasn't trying to steal the kill. What I was trying to do is my alpha's not high enough to kill him in one shot. And seeing as he wasn't moving, he didn't have six cents. So I was waiting for someone else to shoot him. And then he wouldn't have the reaction time fast enough for him to, you know, evade my shot. And then he died. And then we went. Okay, good. Whoopie dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee scoop dee poop. Poop dee scoop dee. Scoop dee whoop. Whoopie dee scoop whoop poop. Poop doo dee whoop scoop. Poop. All right, now that we've done that, it's time to go bigger again. Like, bigger. And that's why I was considered the most beautiful and fertile woman on my home planet. 